Hey, good getters. Well, it was 100 plus degrees outside for quite a while and now it's in the 60s. It feels great. It's got that brisk fall smell in the air. Kind of got me in the mood to bake some cookies. I do love cookies. I think everyone that watched the channel knows that. So let's make some fall specials. Some molasses cookies. Yeah, do it that These are not the quickest cookies, but they are very delicious. Let's start with the wets. So you've got a stick and a half of butter, one egg, and a tablespoon of water. Moving on to the dries, we have two and a quarter cup of flour. We have two teaspoons of ginger. We have one teaspoon of baking soda, and then we have three quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then even more, there's a full cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of ground cloves, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then the cornerstone of all of this molasses. We will be putting a quarter cup of molasses into these cookies. You ready? Yes! Okay, here we go. So we start with melting the butter. You can unwrap those and then we'll put them in the microwave for a minute. Let them melt down. So we've melted the butter. We're going to add an egg. I'll let Liberty do that. Then we're also going to add a tablespoon of water to this as well. So I'll get the tablespoon of water. Why is it so easy to crack an egg? Not everybody thinks it is. Well, sometimes it isn't. Now, if there's an egg in there, I'm going to add a tablespoon of water. And that completes the wet outside of the molasses, of course. Something else to note, I have set the oven at 350, so it's preheated right now and ready to roll. All right, so now let's blend this up. So something I always do is I combine the wets and the dries separately. If you put them all into one big bowl, it doesn't really mix properly. You've got the wets and the dries kind of like mixing into a swirl like a marble and you don't really get the even flavors. You'll bite into one cookie and it'll taste great and you'll bite into another one and you're like, well, you might even bite into one and it's way too sweet or way too salty. So it's just best to put all of your dries together, mix that, then put all your wets together and mix that. It's not gonna be as big there as that bowl. Now let's mix up the dries. We got two and a quarter cup of flour in the bowl. Can I see it? Yeah, you do. There we go. Oh, what? Just do it every, every dry. I'll tell you what it is. So that's a full cup of sugar. Nice. Yeah. Now what? What do you want to do next? This one? Be careful with those little ones. So this is cloves. So a half teaspoon of cloves in the bowl. Nice. So now a quarter teaspoon of salt. There you go. Now what are you going to get? That is cinnamon. Cinnamon! And goes the cinnamon. That is baking soda. Baking soda. Yeah. And then what else we got here? This is the last one. Ginger. Ginger. A very fall flavored cookie indeed. goes and we'll mix all of this up yeah. and now finally we will add the molasses yeah okay so that concludes mixing up molasses cookies I'm gonna scoop these out put them on a cookie pan and stick them in the oven for around 10 minutes I'm gonna watch them like I always do and make sure they don't burn. You wanna lick one of these? Well, all right. No? No? It tastes like ginger snaps. And these that's what these will taste like. These will taste like ginger snaps, but they won't be snappy. They won't be crunchy. They'll be very chewy, gooey. Because I don't like crunchy. I don't like crunchy cookies. I don't think those are fun at all. I never have liked crunchy cookies. Anytime I went to a birthday party and they had Chips Ahoy cookies, I didn't understand it. No, thank you. Don't want them. Pass. Hard pass. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy. So back in 1919, there was this great molasses flood. It actually killed people. There was this enormous vat of molasses. It was holding 2.3 million gallons of molasses, and the thing burst. And it poured on down through the city. I can't imagine a worse situation. Personally, I can't stand anything that's sticky. It drives me crazy. I walk across a sticky floor, 
just like goosebumps all over me, my hair is standing up, I can't stand it. All right, so we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 for around 10 minutes. And I'm gonna watch them like a hawk like I always do because cookies burn. And here's the final product. Now these cookies taste just like ginger snaps. However, they are not crunchy. Now, I have to admit, even looking at these on the camera, they don't look chewy. They look like a crunchy cookie. They've got this kind of darker crust here. But I promise, like, they they, they soft. You can hear, they doesn't snap or anything. They're a soft cookie, so. Maybe I can squish it here. You can kind of squish. There you go, there you go. So see, it is a soft cookie, and ha! Yes, do it that I need to go eat a bunch of candy or something. <laughs>